Sickness. Chapter 5. Regression. This might or might not be fictional. Welcome to the, the next day. I woke up to find out that someone pissed on me during my bed during my sleep! <gasps> Wednesday morning, September 21st. My second my, the second my conscious mind entered the world of the living, footsteps ap approached my sleeping figure. Oh no! Not you again! Uh, Emma! Uh, Good morning! Okay, so it's it's not uh, it's not me, you know. <laughs> no, that was a one time thing! <laughs> Wakey, wakey! Breakfast is ready, and your clothes have been ironed! Oh, have they now? I think now? she's like in school, she's not two! <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure? You don't know me! <laughs> Get them both while they're still warm! I don't know, I kinda uh... like my breakfast cold. Shut the fuck up! Like my dead bodies. <laughs> uh... We have an iron? When did, we, when did we get that? Okay, shower, check. Clothes, check. Breakfast, check. I think, what? I'm not sure. What What do you mean, shower, check? What, what were you doing? None of your business, that I think, what. I think it's just like she's just checking if everything's been done before she leaves today. She, she's checking to see if the shower hasn't blown up. <laughs> I, has. know what, I know what men are like. They blow everything up. <laughs> Hmm, we've still no, it's got not a working. bit of time it's left. Dynamite fixes everything! Richard, where do you get the dynamite from? <laughs> oh. Oh, I should get started in the pre-preparation for dinner. Oh. And off she goes. Now that Sarah's stock now that Sarah's stalkers have been have been dealt with, she's returned to her usual chip herself. Oh because yeah. Because I killed one. Oh. If anything, she's now more livelier than ever. <laughs> I don't think it's that kind of. <laughs> <laughs> it's that. It's that kind of like. It's the fact she's trying to hide. <laughs> So she's killing someone in the kitchen. <laughs> so not looking. Yeah, forget Livy. Sarah, Sarah what are you doing? Nothing, big brother. <laughs> <laughs> she's sickly chopping someone to pieces. <laughs> Sarah was never this happy in our old house. Not that I can fault fall for being happy. The only downright odd behavior she's displayed since last night is her newfound fa fascination with the news. She walked in on and off last night, and today she's had she had a blaring blaring since since the moment I woke up. But her obsession isn't all that isn't all bad isn't isn't at all. <laughs> but her obsession isn't at all bad for me, so I have no plans to stop her. On the contrary, I've already begun to make use of it. While I can't approach the witness or question high school students, Sarah was free to do both. Better yet, she seems to know the girl, and was thus thus able to tell me about tell me all about her. You want to know more about the witness? I guess it can't be helped. I'll impart upon you a portion of my great knowledge. Oh no, she's turned into a robot! <laughs> First off, her name is Lucia K. She's one year younger than us and she's in the grade below me at school. Lucia doesn't really have any friends. I don't think many people even knew her name until yesterday. What? Why are you going Indian again? I, I, I'm sorry. I've been going getting takeaways too much and it's having an influence. Stop it! <laughs> sorry. Let's see what else, what else. Hmm. Lucia is in very interesting, about average, above average grades, average looks, below average physical fitness. Wow! <laughs> Wow! Wow! That's Is this uh... gossip or actual information? <laughs> she, she, I, uh, I'm she, not attracted she's... to ladies like her. She's just not my type. No. <laughs> ah, but get this. Her family is well off, but they don't seem to get along. 
They're actually really ashamed of the Chia. Isn't that great? No! Well, I think it's great. <laughs> Sarah, I'm starting to question if you're a nice person or not. <laughs> <laughs> because of that, they won't let her have any fun. She can't go to birthday parties. She doesn't have a computer. She lives a really boring life. <gasps> she has really asshole parents. Yeah, I was yeah. Say. Mom, Dad, I was attacked yesterday. Uh, that's nice, dear. <laughs> Don't let it happen she again. She in her room alone, wishing for someone to save her from her fate. But no one gives a shit. Always playing the hopeful loner, seeking companionship, praying for the freedom that others take for granted. What? How does she know all of this, you know? Like, does, does I, this specific girl, like, actually say that specifically? I, I don't I don't know some, if someone would mention that much about some that personal people, life. Some people actually give off that type of aura around them, like, they want to be free and all that. They give off I that kind of sense. Break free. No, not that kind of break free. Aww. Anyways. Well, well, at least that's Sarah's interpretation of Lucinia's situation. Regardless, it does fit my impression of the girl, and Lucinia seems nice enough. She doesn't seem like the type to brag to her friends about what really happened, or to hand her sa savior to the police. All that's left now is to have Sarah confirm a few, a few of my suspicions, and my mind would be completely at ease. Saying our usual goodbyes, Sarah left the house with a skip in her step, and enough cheer for both of us. La la la! Whether or not my morning will stay, stay so cheerful, however, is yet to be seen. As happy as I am that Sarah is now shining brighter than ever, the collateral damage won't be ha won't be too happy to see to see me. Through Marcus's injuries, weren't life friend, and his ego ha has been severely bruised, and he won't be any he won't be anywhere near as intimidating. Not when so he's been like wrapped up in boxer shorts and, <laughs> well, <laughs> and uh, the equipment from the gym that no, uh, was, Andre he, used. No, he got beat up. Remember. I know, but uh, I made the joke where Andre used all, oh, like, the boxing <laughs> pants and everything to, to patch up his injuries. <laughs> oh, yeah. As a result, I'll be taking the lead today. Expect to, co expect to commit the, the violent acts I initially went winced upon seeing. Alright, time to get to work with this with this really jazzy music. I left a short while after, after Sarah, taking with me Marcus's knife. I don't know how I got Marcus's knife, but um, I'm just going to take it with me. It's what? from the Chinese restaurant, remember? Oh yeah, that's right. Well, I don't really want to take take over as the lead collector. The alternative is far less appealing. Either collectors get done, or I wind up in the underground MMA arena. No matter how much Andre has prepared me, that's still a fate I want to avoid at all costs. Yes, definitely, we want to avoid that. Wait, we're back. Are we back at the? Are we back at the Chinese place again? This looks like the same street. Kind of vague, right? I seem to be shifting jobs very rapidly lately. lately. Without realizing it, I was cohered into being an underground MMA fighter, and then an assistant deck collector, and now a lead deck collector, all in a quick, all in a quick succession. Hell, chances are I will soon change again. There's no way my position as a lead deck collector will la last very long. But whatever the future holds, all that matters for the time being is that I survive the next three hours of my life. My first day as lead deck collector, and hopefully my last. Way in front of my, of my, of our first stop was Marcus, who shaped up considerably since I was, since I last saw him. Unfortunately, his confidence and attitude appeared to be among the last stages of his, recover of his recovery. Morning, killer. Well, someone's in a good mood today. What does he have to call? What right does he have to call me that anyway? He caught more people on our first collection, collection together than I have, I have total. No, that's really a discussion <coughs> I, I want to have. Why so quiet, killer? Don't like your new name. It's far better than your old one. What kind of stupid name is Suo anyway? Hmm. What kind of person? What kind of what kind of parents name their kid Marcus? Nice parents, at least. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> he takes it more seriously than I did. <laughs> <laughs> I got beat up. I'm a kind of a bit annoyed since you weren't there. You dirty bitch. Oh, it's not. It's not like I got. It's not. It's not like I got pick. I got to pick it. Okay. A mother named Sarah and our father decided that twins should have twin names. 
the pound, and my mother flat out rejected his other suggestions, leaving me with the least ab abnormal name he came he came up with. Let's Shut call up, our son Timmy. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, Bluey. Let's get to work. Oh no, Bluey. Ah, uh, I think I might need to go see a doctor again. Oh, why are you afraid to go to go in without me? Rather than laugh and put him on his u usual act, Marcus continued to stare at me bemusedly. I guess he expected a little more out of, out of his forced recruit. I trust that you were briefed on our stops this morning. Yeah, I remember them all. While Marcus was, get was getting packed up, Andre ran through a list of names, amounts, and dresses with me. Since having a paper trail was not an option, I needed to commit all, all, to all of them to memory. Even if my head mu muddled from my dis discovering, discouraging morning. Luckily, we only had had a f around a dozen stops to make today. No matter how distracted I am, I should be able to pull it off. Then, what are you waiting for? Well, here goes nothing. First, there was a restaurant owned by owned and operated by the Ty Taiwanese man. It's not like, it's not the only one on our list for <coughs> today either. Are Asians compulsive gamblers, or are they just a play, plain bad at gambling? I'm fairly new to this job, yet seem, yet seems like a lot, of, lot, of, like a lot of stops. I've made, I've made, be, have been, have been to restaurants owned by middle-aged Asian men. What's more, I get the feeling these these kinds of pointless questions I've been, I'll be asking mo myself a lot today. Marcus and I remained seated until the the only other patron pre present finally left. As he walked out the door, I followed Marcus's usual lead in, made my way to the entrance, and flipped the open sign and around and locked the front door and the close and the close the shutters. Uh, Thai female. Uh, not this again! Oh my gosh! <laughs> Oi! Get in here! Mm. The waitress came out came out the next room, summoned forth a middle-aged man with a pa with apparent gambling problem. Don't hurt me! Take a look at what you've done now! Shut up, I kick your ass! <laughs> oh, no, no, no! The witness pointed at Marcus and I. Ah, uh, I'll handle this! Ta ya! <laughs> like, he just the starts hell doing, you will! Like, like, he just starts doing martial arts moves and he just pulls his, he pulls his hip. <laughs> ah! Ah, my hip! But, well, well, uh, he, do, he, he does no taekwondo no anyway. Shouldn't have done that. Me no good at martial arts. Those lessons don't pay off. <laughs> Every time this happens, you brush me aside, saying you'll take care of everything. Then three months later, it's the same thing all over again. This is why I don't like you. Look, I said I handle it, all right. And I'm saying that if you were capable of doing so, we wouldn't be in this stupid situation. God damn it! The court began to argue, soon reverting to their native tongue and ex excluding Marcus and I from the conversation. At first, I felt awkward for having lost control of the situation so quickly, but soon after that, I, fe I instead felt am amused. While well, I'd seen many si many similar exchanges between indebted p parties during my admitted admittedly short criminal career, never had Marcus and I be been so blatantly ignored. Swapping languages is a pr is pretty obvious yet effective tactic. It could be planned to kill the two of us right kill the two of us right now, and I'd be none the wiser. And while I doubt that that's why the, that's what they were arguing about, it sure would be nice to know what they're saying. Oh well, if we, if we can't gleam any useful information from them, we might as well get to work. Hey, Isis, where are you bastards? Look, you two can argue all you want once we leave, but the only way that that's gonna happen is it is if you pay off your debt here and now. Understood? Duh. The restaurant owner didn't say a word. He simply disappeared into the next room with one amu one assumed goal. Damn, that was the reason I fought. I May mean, I make a good lead, lead collector after all? No you intimidation. Get the gun. I, I get katana. <laughs> <laughs> yes, get a weapon that some person can uh, can practically stop if they're good in combat. <laughs> <laughs> like ah, oh my god! <laughs> Actually, he swings and then cut and actually just jabs it into, into his shoe. Ah, my foot! Oh, he, oh, he swings the katana and accidentally kills his wife. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops! No intimidation, no knife waving, no blade and fret. Just a logical statement telling them how to get rid of us. No, that's just naive. This is going way too smoothly. 
If he had the money, he wouldn't have just paid up instead of making a, making us hound him. Something's wrong here. Oh God! I told you to get the gun out. <laughs> All right, you bastard! You want me? Come and get me. Just as I fought, just the fall crossed my mind, the restaurant owner burst into the into the back into the room, shotgun in hand. Shit! I knew this was going way too well. Honey, what the fuck are you doing? What does it look like I'm doing? I told you I'd handle this. Oi, silly bags. Hand over what you've collected today and get out of here before I kick your ass. Uh oh. We we haven't collected anything yet. You're our first stop. Idiot. Don't tell him that. Marcus, do you even have any emotion? <laughs> I'm trying to keep cool in this. Very intense situation. No money, huh? Well, now isn't that problem? Waving his gun around, the man smirked as he taunted us. We weren't at all. We, you were at an obvious disadvantage. No amount of bravado would change that. I wonder, what do you people usually do to those who can't pay? Hmm? Maybe I should cut off your hands, just like the thieves you are! While I looked around the restaurant trying to find an escape, Marcus clenched his fists. Don't get cocky, asshole. Marcus, stop! Oh fuck, I killed Marcus! Ow. <laughs> the second Marcus charged forward, our target fired, blowing Marcus' stomach wide open without, without hesitation. Marcus' body Ow. hit the floor, unmoving, and the regret and the very familiar sight of a pooling blood filled with filled my filled my eyes. Hey, Marcus! I tried call, try to call up, calling out to Marcus, but I received no response. I'm okay. He, he hit my bottle of ketchup. I keep at me at all times. Why would you have? Wait, why in the wait? If if he hit the ketchup, it's a shotgun. It would have like a burst shot. How the hell did all the boys hit the ketchup bottle? He just, he just hit the ketchup bottle. <laughs> Get up! <laughs> I moved closer. Stab him in the butt. <laughs> I don't know. I placed my hand hand on his shoulder and weakly pu pushing for the result, result. Marcus, can you hear me? Back up, kid. If you don't want to end up like your friend, you do as I say. The owner crept forward, getting a getting closer, getting a close look at his work. I kept my eyes on Marcus, discreetly keeping keeping track of his shooter's vicinity as the man closed in on his victim. Please, Marcus, speak to me. I said, back up. Whoa. Freeing an emotional goodbye, I drew the shotgun, wheeled in man closer. Careful not to let let him catch me glance at him. The more oh he was God, within striking distance, killed him at a distance. <laughs> <laughs> I be used the window of opportunity. Marcus, sudden death had granted me, slashing his shooter's throat immediately. He drew. He dropped his shotgun, unable to back to hold hold a boat boat. Hold it, unable to hold hold both both it and his throat at the same time. And I moved in to finish the job. Honey, get the band-aid! I don't think we need, we need more than that. <laughs> Spare no time for my fallen partner. I heard the wit the waitress at gunpoint to take me to the safe at the out back. Cash in hand, I fled the scene, moving on moving on moving to my next mark for the day without delay. I moved well, from what about Marcus? To you just left them there. What are you supposed you to do? He's dead! <laughs> I moved from target to target, completing the day's work of ease, and before I knew it, I completed my last stop of the day. But even then, after completing a full day of soul adventures, I never, I, ne I felt neither happy nor relieved. I had continued working not because the work needed to be done or because I felt obligated to finish what I started, but because I, I simply didn't know what else to do. Marx is dead. He was shot oh, right shit. in front of me. I was right there beside him, and I, I couldn't do a thing to help him. As the lead collector, I should have fought, fought things through. I shouldn't have let us get into that situation to begin with. But the most worrying part is, it could have just as easily been me. Well, I tried to convince myself otherwise. I was just as in much, I was in just as much danger as he was. I could have died then and there, and at, or at the next stop, or even at the ver the, or even in this very seat. The waitress could have poisoned my food, 
For all I know, the chef could be could be loading his, loading his shotgun. I've been flirting with I've been flirting with death this whole time. High on the thrill of getting paid to to the meet, meet intim, intimidated ra random st strangers. Never truly realizing how how messed up this kind of life is. If I kept this up, I might really die. Great, I'm gonna die soon. Where am I now? Oh, it's oh, oh it's Lyle McDouchebag. Oh. Uh. Walking through the dark corridor, Andre nervously glanced before glanced behind, ca cautious where, where he was being led. <clears throat> Move it. Yeah, yeah, yes, sir. Andre's guy continued to urge him forward, allowing no chance of escape. Wait, am I just standing here, just like watching this happen? I don't know. <clears throat> I'm passing through the heavy door, which, which awaited him. Andre was greeted by a single man. Nice to see you, Andre. Uh, good, good evening, sir. As Andre spoke, the presence behind behind his back shifted. Although both men spoke spoke kindly, there was an unmistakable sense of malice and unease in the air. Andre, my friend. Let me cut straight. To, let me cut straight to the chase. I want you to explain to me why that runt Marcus has been making your making your collect is making your collections for you. Uh, I um, <laughs> well, you see, um, I can understand that you want to bring bring Marcus <clears throat> along with you as part of his training. That makes perfect sense to me. What I don't understand is why you let him take the lead and go off on his own. Presence behind Andre shifted once more. This time, inching closer. Uh, 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 what? Yes. Well, you see, I, I wanted to make sure he had what it takes. That was all. Throw him in head first, you know. Get the Is proper work right? experience. Is that right? Well, obviously, he didn't have what it takes. Otherwise, he'd still be alive, wouldn't he? What? What are you talking about? I just, I saw him just. He was shot. He was shot dead this morning, conducting a collection. No, no, Howie, that's not possible. He is. Lucky for you, his partner wasn't hurt in the process. His partner? Wait, 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 wait. You're telling me that Marcus is dead, but that other brat survived? Just how is that lucky? If Marcus is really dead, then. It's definitely his partner's fault. Oh. Just yesterday that incompetent shit left Marcus alone on some bullshit vigilante trip. Now, when he was supposed to be taking lead, Marcus winds up dead. Don't talk bollocks. Nobody can do this job alone. Let anyone with an unreliable partner. <laughs> no, you can do this job alone, huh? What's funny? You say that nobody can do nobody can do it alone. Yet this incompetent brat managed to do managed to do that managed to do just that. Instead of making excuses or crying over his partner, he avenged his death and completed the day's work. Andre stared at his boss in disbelief, unable to swallow what he was hearing. Oh, uh, you, you're you're really defending him. I seek out talent. This boy has it. Marcus did not. Oh, oh, you, oh, you bastard! Andre attempted to lunge at his boss. Before he, before he can make so much as a step, take a step, the presence behind his back made it made its move. Andre was thrown onto the floor effortlessly, with a blade embedded into his back before he could reta retaliate. <sighs> Same old Andre, huh? Sigh. Twist your brain, would you? Wait, yeah, wait, what? Understood. Ah, oh, you bastard! <laughs> oh, you all this shit about your employees being your family, but the second we become inconvenient... Again. Ah, oh, you fucker! You never did understand, did you, Andre? You are not my family. Marcus was not my family. My family are those who understand loyalty and discretion. Uh, loyalty, huh? Like you know the meaning of the word. 
You just can't help yourself, can you? Sigh, we're done talking. Oh, no, 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 fuck! <laughs> oh, fuck! Once again, we turned home early, mostly because I had nothing to do with my free time. I went through the usual motions of returning home. I received a warm welcome from my sister, showered, hid my suspicious freight purchases, and finally set, set it in for the, for the story of her day. Usually I just sit and nod as Sarah to told me about her friends at school, what subjects she had, she had and what she learned, none of which interested me in the least. Today, however, Sarah has been playing detective, and for once, and for once, bro brother dearest is all ears. Oh, I talked to Lucia today. You know what she said? My dear sister, half the time I don't even know what, what you are saying. Wait, why does that name sa sa actually sound familiar? The senior. Is she a friend of yours? You don't remember. Typical men. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> <laughs> She's the girl from the news, you know, the one saved by the vigilante. Right, right, I remember now. Oh, rather, how can I forget? Her name slipped my mind after what happened today, but the girl herself won't, won't soon be forgotten. Anyway... I asked her about what happened near our school yesterday, but apparently one of the attackers knocked her out, so she doesn't remember much. All she could really confirm was that the vigilante rescued her and disappeared without a trace. <gasps> Knocked out, huh? Well, that's one way to get people to stop asking questions. Sarah's giving this girl lo too little credit. But is that is that it? That's a full day of interrogation. Should he Sarah got more Sarah got more out of more out of her than that? Does she know anything about the police investigation? I know it's only been a day, but have they made any progress? Hee <laughs> hee, I've got your attention after all. Apparently, the vigilante didn't leave a trace. Uh, yes, uh, according to uh, our police reports, uh, we're dealing with a ghost. But we'd <laughs> like to say that the victims did not suffer. Seems to me, Chief, he suffered a lot. Ah, jeez, well! No murder weapon, no fingerprints, no signs of forced entry, he just vanished. It seems to me one of them's actually crippled, Chief. I Why do you have to say that, Lou? <laughs> really? I mean... I did take my, my weapon with me, and I didn't need to break in, but no fingerprints. I didn't wear gloves, and I'm, sh I'm sure I touched at least the wall during my scuffle with the second attacker. Did you see it? You've seen it clean up after I left? What? Do I just have a knack for crime? We have the case. I'm up behind bars, so I guess I couldn't have done that too badly. Anyway, enough about that. How was your day? My best friend just died! <laughs> No! You're about to change shifts or I didn't even get a single <gasps> Sarah's broken! <laughs> She's a robot! Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, right. As far as Sarah knows, I'm still working for Mr. Mundo, Paul. Pulling long physical demand demanding shifts at that damn warehouse. I guess things would be would be easy if I told Sarah that my hours have changed. At least then I'd have more freedom to come and get come and go as please. We <laughs> I have to say no! <laughs> There's something perverted, come on. What's the perverted thing gonna be? Hey sis, look at this! Oh my god! What's <laughs> wanting to derail the conversation? La di da. Well, what the hell are you doing? It's awfully hot in here, isn't it? Not even remotely. Oh come on, join me. Uh, uh, what? What? The heck? what? What the fuck? No! Wait a second, what are you? Oh my god! No, stop that! I don't want to. Get off of me! There, much better. <laughs> oh my Christ! What the fuck? <laughs> you <laughs> pervert! Oh, put the knife down! <laughs> all right, let's all right, let's reload it up. Yep, and now it <laughs> lie. Oh, who am I kidding? What's 
What's one more lie? My colleague drove me, so we have plenty of time. They drove you? To murder. <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't realize you were making friends at work. I, I thought you didn't have any friends. <laughs> I hate you, Sarah! What do you I say? love you too, like... brother. Even if this one hadn't progressed the way it did, I'd still would ha have hesitated to call him a friend. Of course I have been. My mere presence ex ex eludes friendliness. <coughs> so what's your friend's name? Is it Bob? Or is it George? Is it some lame-ass name like John? Oh, I'm gonna get... Ah! You bitch! <laughs> <laughs> a follow question. Shit, I forgot how much how much wim women love the those. Uh, Ma Marcy, she works on the counter. Marcy, huh? You won't go shopping with me, but you're happy to go out with this Marcy. I am totally jealous right now. Crap, I was gonna go. I was gonna go to. I was gonna go with a guy's name, but Marcus is the only name that popped into my head, and I really don't want to think about him right now. We used Again, to go just... shopping all the time. <laughs> Here, Jewel, I think this vest makes you very sexy. What? What are you gay or something? Uh, no, no. I, I'm just thinking about how to be fashionable when you're robbing these places. He has, he has like a mock. He has like a, he has like a sewer plushie. One day. <laughs> one day. Just buy the vest. <laughs> Forget it. I'm just making things worse. Fine, you got me. There is no Marcy. Ah, but there is there is an Andre, and we often. Honestly, can you ever be just straight with me? Like, oh my gosh, if something happened at work and you don't want to talk about it, just say so. Like, Jesus Christ, I could slap you. She's suddenly starting to go like typical t American schoolgirl. Like, oh my god! <laughs> oh my what's god! Happened. If only it were that simple. Oh my Let's god! Start... Oh god, not again! <laughs> <laughs> not again! But the stuff I don't want to talk about is nothing like what she's expecting. Rather than keeping quiet, keeping quiet out of embarrassment or awkwardness, I'm, I'm doing so to stop Sarah from being being an accessory. Or not to relive such a terrible event. Even so, I do owe her some kind of explanation, and and my work hours will probably continue to shift in the future. I better prepare Sarah for what's yet to come. Well, I was gonna wait until the change was finalized before telling you, but I've changed positions at work. Struggling to avoid my sister's prying gaze, I attempted to phrase my excuse so that it wasn't a technic technically a lie. I did change positions after all. Just not at the same workplace. A change in position? You mean <gasps> like a promotion? <gasps> That's right, Sarah. I've been promoted to a murderer. Whoops. Uh, oh. Oh. Nine one one. The last time, I didn't kill anyone. <laughs> we didn't ask you to kill anyone. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> she bought it. Yeah, something like that. That's great. It's about time you recognize how hard you work. Oh my god. Just you watch. Before long, you'll have a cushy office job where you choose your own hours. <gasps> yeah, I wish. I may have spent the better half of today just killing time, but the day I get paid to do so is still a long way off. Still, I prefer Sarah's optimism to, to her. To her skepticism, I'll take over over enthusiastic and unrealistic over unrealistic over gloomy and suspicious any day. Yes, that would save me a lot of worries. As the night progressed, I continued I continued to string my sister along, remaining as a, as being as vague as I could. I don't want her to get too used to the idea that I'll be back back early. At the rate things are going, it's entirely possible that I'll end up working different hours. After all, while I may not may not be in the shop as two in the shed back in high school, I do understand my role in the world and the path it's leading me down. In a very short amount of time, I've gone from a high school sc student to a killer. I've watched people die. I've watched my partner die. I killed one, one, and one of these days, 
the one to die might be yours truly. So until my life remains regains some sense of stabi st yeah, st stability, I can't afford to tell Sarah the truth. Or to get her hopes up. What I can do for her is now is to continue providing and to stay alive. And not get shot. Go get my way.